Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. In this MMA video, what we're gonna work on is a drill that helps you work backstepping. So backstepping simply means being able to punch as you're moving backwards. That's a skill that you have to train and you have to develop if you wanna be a complete fighter. So check it out. All right, so to keep the tutorial short, there's many different ways Many different strategies you can work, I have as a trainer, as a coach, to help my athletes work their backstepping or fighting backwards, all right? But I'm gonna show you one today, all right? So one of them is always ensuring that you have solid ground when you strike, all right? So by solid ground, I means every time you strike, that foot on the same side has to be well planted onto the ground, onto the mat in this case. So if he's throwing his right hand, okay, his right foot, has to be set onto the ground. He wouldn't be able to generate a lot of power by simply lifting that leg, okay? And you see that a lot, whether it's like people are starting out or even seasoned practitioners in the sport, they'll do that a lot. And as a coach, I always analyze the footwork and the footing on the ground. That's super important to me because eventually, you don't even have to think about that stuff. The feet have a mind of their own. It's almost like you don't think about how you place your feet if you are well trained and spent countless hours drilling it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is show you guys a simple drill you can practice. We're gonna try the right uppercut, but at the same time, I want you to step back with your right foot, Alex. So as you throw the right uppercut, I want you to think about two things. Number one, moving your right leg back, all right? Crouching in and also moving your back shoulder, your lead shoulder backwards, I should say. So it's gonna look like this, boom. All right, so throw that, boom, right here. Again, boom. All right, so I'm moving forward and you're moving backwards, right? Because in reality, he would catch me as I'm moving in. See, vroom. That's what we want to drill, okay? On a focus pad, it's going to look like this. Wham! Right away. So he's moving back, gaining ground or distance, I should say, with the back foot, moving his head out of the way, but also generating that power because his foot gets planted and his shoulders are now rotating into the punch, okay? So here we go. Bam! All right, so that's a lot of power right there. Boom. And now we can add the same thing. As you're going to step, you're going to step with the right and then with the left again, okay, to regain your composure. Again, so here, bam, bam. one more time, bam, bam. all right? And then let's add that third uppercut as you move step, 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 here. Bam, bam, bam. Again, bam, bam, bam. all right? So step it, step it, step it, okay? Again, one more time. And now let's finalize with a left hook right straight. Let's go, bam, 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 bam. okay? One more time. And again, and every time you drill this stuff, now we're going fast, but in reality, you could slow it down, right? So watch, slow motion, step, 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 hook, cross, but always making sure you plant your feet with every punch, super important, okay? So whether you're training statically, like in the same spot, or you're moving backwards, because this is a skill you want to develop in MMA because someone might be charging on you and you want to be able to hit them as they're coming in forward. All right guys, so there you have it. Just a simple drill, quick video, show you guys something you can train on. There's many tactics, maybe we'll cover more at a later date, but for now, great drill to practice, hone this skill, and it's gonna make you a better MMA athlete. Guys, hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up, make sure to subscribe if you're new here, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.